Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Okay, my tree is in the way, but I don't feel like moving it right now for the intro. Maybe I should like clean my room a little bit. It's, it's clean enough. So, I literally just got home from school. Like, I just walked in the door. Um, so, I'm looking a mess. And also, it's... The lighting is really bad, but I promise I'll move. But basically, James Charles' palette came in. I'm so excited. I realized that I should have just like got it in the Ulta store. It took longer to get online than it would be just to get it in store, but it is fine. And we have it now. I'm gonna try to get this up the same day that I get it. I'm really far from the camera because if I get close, I look like this. So sorry that I'm so far away from the camera right now. I am going to be reviewing, swatching, and doing a look of, or using the James Charles Morphe palette. If you guys don't know what this palette is, I'm sorry, but like, I don't know where you've been because it is so popular right now. Like it sold out pretty fast and I'm so glad that I got my hands on it because I ordered it within the first like 10 or 20 minutes of it being launched. Um, and I was at school. I had to literally wait in line for checkout because it was so popular. So anyway, Anyway, I'm rambling at this point and I want to open this, so I need to get my mini scissors. Where are my scissors? Um, I think I've only ordered from Morphe's website one other time and it was to get the 35B. So this is only my second time ordering from Morphe. Also, I'm really sorry about this lighting right now. It won't be like this the whole time because I'm gonna move. I just wanted... Someone is mowing outside. I'm gonna move into my other setup because the glare and whatever is gonna get really annoying. It's not even glare, it's just shades so comes with lots of bubble wrap and then the palette this is humongous bigger than the Jaclyn Hill wait let me get the Jaclyn Hill just to compare it okay so I've been wondering how big the James Charles palette is in comparison to the Jaclyn Hill and the Jaclyn Hill is a big palette I mean, this is just the packaging, but like, this is the palette compared to the outer carton. Okay, this glare, this is bothering me. So we're gonna have to move setups because this is not gonna work. Okay, much better. I should really turn on my lights, so. Oh my gosh, my mom just put this on my bed. Now my room looks even more messy. Okay, whatever. <laughs> we gotta- Get this rolling. So this is a much better setup. Way better. Basically what I was trying to show you is the comparison, but I'm gonna do it against the palette because that's more accurate and whatnot. So this is what the outer packaging looks like. James looks amazing as always. That look is so pretty. But basically it just says Morphe X James Charles. Obviously the James Charles palette, artistry palette. You guys probably already know, this is probably just review and annoying, but. And this is what it says on the back. I'm not gonna read it to you because it's probably gonna take too long, but. If you want to pause it, that's what it says. Now, let's open it up. On the side, it says Morphe X James Charles. And then, comes in this bubble wrap. Nothing else. I think all Morphe palettes come like this. Oh my gosh, this is humongous. <laughs> like, I knew it was going to be a big palette, but I didn't know it was going to be this huge. Not complaining at all, but I just didn't realize it was going to be so big. But yeah, this is my Jaclyn Hill. It's still a very big palette, and the James one is still sufficiently bigger. Like, it's so much bigger. Definitely my biggest palette, probably will always be my biggest palette. So this is what it looks like, Morphe X James Charles. And then the back, it has a little sticker that says the James Charles palette. I'm giving you literally all the information you would ever need. But yeah, anyway, now let's open it. The moment we've all been waiting for. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I've literally, I I've seen so many videos about this and now that I actually have it in my hands, it's so weird. Yeah, I cannot wait to use this. As you guys probably know, um, it has the sheet of all the names on the names of the shades, which I feel like they almost could have just like put on the palette because I feel like there's a lot of room in between them. So I feel like they could have put them in the palette, which I really would have loved a lot more. But it is still really nice that they even had shades. On the top it says, unleash your inner artist, of course. And then the palette looks like this. 
so pretty i've been dying to like see the red in person because supposedly it's like a true red and i don't have a true red i'm gonna compare it to like the red in the morphe 35b i don't like the red in here because it's not like a real real red that's the red in the morphe 35b right there also this palette seems so small compared to the james one <laughs> so that's the difference of the two reds this one in the 35B looks a little more faded, if you will, than the one in the James one. Let's go ahead and get swatching before I take my makeup off and we actually do a look. Also, I am doing finger swatches, which I know some people don't like finger swatches that much, but I think that finger swatches still give you some information about how the shadows will work and whatnot. Anyway, I'm gonna think, I think I'm gonna do like each row. So like this, like left to right going down the rows so yeah that's what i'm gonna do anyway let's go ahead and get started because i've been rambling for about almost 10 minutes already so let's go ahead and get to the swatches so i got makeup remover so i can take it off between times i'm using the lancome makeup remover i also got some of these so i'm gonna like do the swatches and then i'll be back because this video will be way too long if i just like swatch the whole thing i'm sorry if you wanted to see that but just trust me i'm not gonna like try to fake the swatches i'm gonna give you my honest opinion i'll be back with swatches row by row oh my gosh okay so these are so pretty like i literally can't i felt the first one and i was so happy basically um i swatched the first one on my finger like i just rubbed it on my finger and it was so soft like way better than i anticipated it being anyways you guys probably want to see what they look like so i will show them and like read them off to you the first color in the palette is the shade called canvas which is just like a base shade then the next one is ring light which is just like a shimmery white color and then so good which when i swatched it i had to put a couple layers just because it's not super duper pigmented but i bet with um like a spray like a setting spray it would be way more pigmented but it did pretty good just swatched then the next one is 518 which is just like a nice orange shade and then rusted which is like a rusty type of reddish shade it's more of like a burnt red and then the next one is halloween the cranberry shimmery shade and then wig which is a nice goldish shade and then tea which is a really nice again nice brown uh, brownish shade but it's like not super brown it's i don't know it's a nice brown shade okay the next row starts with punch me which is a nice transitiony type shade and then sister which is like a pinky shade the next shade is literally and it's pretty almost like orangey with undertone shade and then you're kidding which is the red shade that everyone talks about i do think is a true red after all i really really like it and then shook which is a nice i keep saying nice i need to stop saying it but it is like a cranberry type shade again and then boutique which is a burgundy and then benny which is almost black but it's not it's like a purplish brownish undertone so this third row with the bigger pans like i said starts with the shade of flashback which is the white shade and then face type of highlighty shade it swatched super pretty and then tune which is like a yellowy shade and then code james which is a nice orangey burnt orange and then a 10 percent off which is a super pretty brownish warm tone shade i keep saying witches and shade a ton but <laughs> and 10 percent off this is a nice type of brown shade not as warm toned i feel like but it is really nice to have oh did i say that was 10 percent off i meant no beans like i said 10 percent off i meant no beans and then spooky which is the matte black shade i did layer this one up a little bit it is a really nice brown black shade my arm is already getting raw so that's really just great and i'm also running out of cotton rounds didn't really think this through much but anyway off to the fourth row okay so this why am i pink fourth row starts with b and this is definitely the best yellow i have and i haven't even put it on my eyes yet but this swatched so well next shade is guac i love that shade name uh it's super pretty green and then hello which is a nice bl icy blue and then playground 
such a pigmented blue brother i love this shade i think it's really unique and pretty it's almost like a purpley kind of blue shade and then artistry which i've heard a lot of great things about and it is a super pretty shade i did layer it up a little bit but it is really pretty and then love that which is a super nice pink shade and then pinkity drinkity which is a nice light pink shade now it's the last row and then we can actually get started with the look bottom row left to right starts with social blade which is a nice lime green matte shade and then daddy which is a really pretty green matte shade it's like a forest kind of darkish green and then cape cod which is such a unique color i don't have anything like this cola which is a navy acapella super pretty blue shimmery shade and then escape which is a nice purple darker purple shade and single which is a nice medium toned purple i don't know and last but very not least skip which I swatched this and I was wowed because it is such a neon pink shade. Definitely don't have a shade this neon and bright pink. So I am excited to give that a go. Yeah, now I have swatched all of the shades in this palette and I cannot wait to do an eye look with it. So I'm going to go ahead and take off my makeup and I'm going to do an eye look. Alright, my makeup is mainly off. I just did my eyebrows. Excuse how they look. I'm... A little out of practice it's been a long time since i've done my eyebrows I'm gonna move on to the eye look because that's our main focus i've heard there's a thing with concealer like you shouldn't use it because it affects how it looks so I, i'm gonna use it but i'm also going to use an eyeshadow primer i don't have like the mac paint pot which i wish that i had and i don't have the morphe one so we're gonna deal with this this is the essence color intensifying eyeshadow base so it's still an eyeshadow base so hopefully it works out we will just have to see my desk is a mess we're not gonna look at that basically um i can't decide which one i'm gonna do it on okay i'm gonna do the eyeshadow base on this side and then the concealer on this side i kind of like this eye better so hopefully that doesn't affect it too much but i haven't used this in a long time either so hopefully it's like fine still should be though kind of burning my eyes a little bit but it should be okay this doesn't give a whole lot of coverage to my eye so hopefully my eye doesn't get stained but probably will because we're working with colorful eyeshadows but then the other side i'm gonna use my tart shape tape this is very close to running out like when i open it it barely gets any on the brush so it's a little dry but hopefully it will be okay i'm not gonna use a whole ton from my eyelashes up to my eyebrow i'm not gonna do anything super crazy i always like using the shape tape when i do a colorful look so this would be my go-to but this is just what i've heard works best so now we get into the palette i still don't know what look i want to do low-key tempted to do the one on here like the eyes but no, we're not going to do it. We're going to make our own look and be creative. Okay, I think I'm going to start with... Hmm, do I want to do a more colorful look or a more natural look? We're going to take this shade. This one is Pinkity Drinkity. And we're just going to put that as our transition shade. Also, I know that a lot of videos that I've seen start with the bright shade first or the darkest shade and work up to their transition shade. I don't usually do that. And also, I don't know what look I'm going to do. So I don't want to start with a crazy shade. not gonna lie so far the concealer side is winning because i like how it looks more it looks more diffused in person you can definitely see it but that's just one shade so let's get on with it because this is gonna be really long and good thing i have a backup battery now because i'm gonna need it so this is the luxie 131 brush and it just looks like that i didn't get the james charles brush set because it's like 150 something dollars so we're using these brushes kind of want to do this shade right here so that's just what we're gonna do okay this is so pigmented
Okay, so I'm noticing. Can you see the patchiness already? And I didn't want that to happen because I wanted to like the concealer side better. It does look a little bit more like diffused on this side so far. There is some patchiness, but it's not like crazy. Okay, I'm just going to go back in with the brush that we used for Pinkity Drinkity and just blend because I don't want it to not be blended. Okay, so then um, I'm going to go in to... Oh, wait, I didn't tell you the shade. That was Love That. And now I'm going to go into the shade Mary, which I was talking about earlier that I really wanted to use. And I'm going to just kind of use that shade there and just kind of blend it out. Okay, not gonna lie, I like the concealer side better so far. As you can tell, it just looks more blended on this side than this side. I know the look does not look good right now. It's my fault that I'm doing really bad, but I am really liking the concealer side so far. I'm now gonna deepen it up more with the purple shade. Um, I'm using another Luxie brush. This is the 141, just like a round pencil brush. I didn't focus, but kind of just gonna take that and I don't know, just add more dimension because right now it just looks like a pink blob on my face. Okay, excuse my lack of skill. Like, I am not with it right now. Oh, this purple shade is called Escape. They're looking about the same right now, but I'm still liking the concealer side better. Now I think I'm gonna cut my crease. All right, creases are cut. Kind of looks pretty bad. Camera battery is flashing, but... Okay, those are so uneven, it's not even funny. Okay, lashes will cover it, and it's okay. I think the shade that I'm gonna use for my lid is probably the purple shade that I've been seeing everywhere. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna use this purple shade because I it really just like grabs my attention. This is the artistry shade. That's what it looks like without the base, and it's beautiful, so can't wait to see it with the base. This is the brush that I use a lot for my lid. Um, this is like what I use every single time, but it's a paintbrush from Hobby Lobby. Okay, I'm now actually going to go in with the dark purple shade again and kind of just like get some matte over there, you know? I'm using another Luxie brush and it's the 121 brush, just a nice more precise brush and I'm just gonna add this purple matte shade to the outside because I don't know, I kind of want a matte shade out there. Okay, yeah, that makes it look so much better. Okay, I'm kind of just adding the colors back in that we used earlier. Okay, lashes will make this so much better and the rest of my face being done will make it a lot better as well. So I'm gonna add eyeliner, lashes, and my the rest of my face and I'll be back with you guys. It, it might be a little bit, but I'll be back. <laughs> okay, so the look is done. I look crazy because I put like, okay, I watched one of Nikki Tutorials' like videos and she did like this three dot thing with the end of her mascara and I tried that because I wanted a little something special on my lower lashes and um, it's definitely um, different than what I would usually do because it just looks like I'd made a mistake on me but Nikki can pull off anything so the highlighter I used was 
um, Rodeo Drive in this palette. I didn't realize Rodeo Drive would actually work on my skin and it even, didn't even leave like, like a line. Um, I thought it was going to be too dark for me, but I tried it out last night and it was good. So I used it today, and, but I also used my Aurora Glow Kit for the first time in a while. And I used the purple shade just as a little topper. You can barely even like see that it's there, but... And then I used the same exact shades I did on my top my top of the top of my eyeshadow um on my lower lashes too and i also added the purple shade right here really close to my eye for my lip there it is i used the tarte rainforest of the sea lipstick in the shade rum punch it's really a pretty shade i didn't want to do something like super monochromatic like this even though this would be really pretty still i didn't want to do that just so i could have the focus more on the eyes oh something i did want to do was add some highlight to my inner corner and brow bone that would be much needed i'm just going to take this brush and i'm going to use i don't know do i want to do a matte one or a shimmer one i think i'm just going to use this white honestly i was going to do shimmer but i'm just going to use the white um you can barely tell that i did also i'm oh my gosh i forgot eyebrow gel i'm losing it Okay, now the look is complete. For lashes, I use the Lashaholic Luxury Lashes. Um, this is in the style Instagram. I got these in my boxy charm. I didn't cut them, so they're a little long, but what can you do? You could cut them, I guess. But. For like a fifth time, this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am so excited that I got this palette. It is so good. Exactly what I wanted it to be. I wanted it to be a really good, colorful palette that... Um, is better than the Morphe 35B. So yeah, look out for some more tutorials with this palette at some point. So yeah, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, overall, I would recommend this palette, obviously. Um, if you can get your hands on it, I would if you like doing colorful looks or anything like that. Or even natural looks because it has a natural section as well. So anyway, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!